Whoa. What's up, everybody? That wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. Actually kind of corny, and the ground's wet. I'm gonna check the mail and see what came today. Love it out here. So pretty in the fall, unbelievable. Before Courtney gets back, just wanted y'all to know that our anniversary is on October 29th and I am not gonna drop the ball this year. I've already planned for something fun for us to do. I'm making her something nice. I might even do the laundry. And if she's lucky, I'll fix that hole I put in the wall. Maybe. enjoying a beautiful fall day with the animals. It's peaceful, quiet, sunny. Right, girl? Hey, baby. Yes. I got a letter in the mail. <laughs> I don't know, folks. In case you missed it, we are in the middle of a zoning issue with the township. So we are waiting on confirmation of when our zoning hearing is going to be. And hopefully that's what this letter is and not another issue. Let's see if this is it. Yep, we got it. That is some big font. This is our official notice that on uh, November 12th, we will have our hearing. As stated here, we are requesting that the Zoning Hearing Board grant a special exception per the regulations as listed under Chapter 27, Part 16, Section 1604.1, Containment of Large Pets and Farm Animals as Accessory Residential Use. Accessory Residential Use. I don't even understand what that means. That's like when you stick a goat in your purse and you walk around this is shopping. My, this is my accessory chicken. Yeah, so there you go. So you're probably wondering what's next. Waiting. Pretty much, <laughs> uh, but not entirely. Not entirely. Uh, there's two ways that we could look at this. We could sit around and we could wait until our hearing, or we could start to get our wheels in motion, which is exactly what we're gonna do. If you watched our last video about this whole ordeal, then you know that we got in contact with a lawyer. Uh, we were Johnny on the spot with making sure that we got our payment in to get this application ready to go so we could move quickly uh, and that we started a GoFundMe page. Why did Courtney decide to start a GoFundMe page? Because it wasn't just about the fact that uh, we didn't plan for any of these expenses that we're about to incur. And believe me, some of them are gonna be pretty hefty when you think about the fact that um, we've got some things that are gonna have to change around here that we're not really ready for. We didn't budget for it. But more than that, it was to spread awareness that this is crazy, it's nuts. But one of the things that we're gonna have to face around here is that even if we get this special exception, we have to fence in one acre for every 20 chickens and we have to fence in one acre for every three goats we have 10 goats those acreages have to be separate so not only are we trying to spread awareness not only are we trying to raise the money to be able to fight this just on our property but we're raising the money so we can fight this on a much larger scale because this is not okay and it needs to change i don't think i've ever been that passionate on this channel 
or about anything in general, except soccer. I'll tell you, when uh, when we went to the Homesteaders of America conference and we met folks like Eustace Conway uh, and Joel Saladin, it sparked something in me that I haven't had uh, since I was playing college soccer. It hasn't sparked this kind of drive and determination since I was trying to court Courtney. <laughs> we just really appreciate that you're there listening, that you comment and let us know how you feel about this because all of your comments, uh, they fuel this fire I have inside of me and my wife uh, and our kids. Um, I think the toughest part for me was when I, I watched our kids cry a little bit as we tried to explain to them what might have to change. I'm getting a little, I gotta walk away. <laughs> what we really need is community support. We have some folks uh, that live in the township here that are gonna be coming to the zoning hearing in support of us. One has Nigerian dwarf goats, just like us. She's been a mentor to me and, and I've learned a lot about raising goats from her. So she's really an expert on that topic. And, and other people are just like-minded folks. So if you are local and feel so inclined, come out to that board hearing on November 12th and show your support for what should be a really natural lifestyle. Right, chicky boo. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll put you back in the coop. I'll put you back in the coop. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll never let you go again. Reach out when your mind's uneasy, cause I'll understand. Hold on when you need a friend, I'll stay here to the end. All right, some better. Have some coffee. Keep it together. Coffee makes everything better. Great. Oh, and if you are interested in attending the meeting and need details, how should they message? Instagram. Instagram. Direct message us on Instagram. If you don't do Instagram, you can find us on Facebook. If you don't do Facebook, uh, you can message us here, I guess, since you're already watching. Uh, already on YouTube. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll give you a way to contact us. Oh, you can also use life on Beagle Road Farm at gmail.com. Oh, yeah. I always forgot we have that. You always got to make things complicated. Meh. Another thing that we're doing that I'm really excited about, this whole situation prompted it, but I don't know why we haven't done this before. Um, we are having a fundraiser here on Sunday, and... Is it a fundraiser or a fundraiser? Both! 11 to 4, we're going to make hot dogs over the fire, toast some marshmallows, hang out with the goats, feed the chickens... Coach some soccer, oh that's just... Me. That's just you. Have kids play on the swing set teach people about animals if they're interested, and we are even having goat yoga. First time ever here on Beagle Road. Goat yoga. A yoga instructor whose classes I have taken was kind enough to donate her time. How did she do with that when she came out the other day to try it out? Uh, she thought they were super adorable and friendly. Of she course was, they are. She was disappointed no one jumped on her back. Put food on her back, they'll jump up there. Yes. I mean, they jump on your face when you're just trying to feed them. I couldn't believe it. Fred jumps on my back every time, time. I hunch down. And he is a fatty. Yeah. He fatty. jumps inside the car. Fred is the first one to want to go on a trip. Mm -hmm. Like, we can get him in the car quicker than we can get all three kids in there. He's the traveling goat. Right? The goaterhood of traveling weathers. Yes. I was trying to figure out a way to say something funny about not having balls. <laughs> I think that was it right there. <laughs> hey, so Monday's our anniversary and we're going to celebrate it uh, the weekend after. Mm -hmm. Do you know what else happens that weekend we're going to celebrate it? You don't know? The Queen movie comes out? What are you talking about? The oh, that's right. Yes, I thought I forgot something. Like, not that. I thought I forgot something else. Like, I would get in trouble for it if I forgot it. 
I mean, that's what you were planning for our anniversary, right? To take me to see that movie? Yeah. Yes. Exactly what I had planned. Fred wants to come too. Go to the movies. And don't fool yourself. There's no popcorn on the floor around Courtney when we go to the movies. None. It's all here or here on her lap. I guess this isn't your lap. It's not a lap. What else is up? Uh, Bridget's birthday. Halloween. Or is she, what does she call it? Harween. Harween. It's Harween. We get a little crazy around Halloween, mm -hmm. right? Heck yeah. We celebrate it all month long. And actually, I'm pretty sure we stretch it all the way to Thanksgiving, right? Because it's just like orangish stuff anyway. Orangish stuff. Yeah. 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 Spooky yeah. turkeys. We should make another like Halloweeny. Halloweeny. Huh. Halloweeny. <laughs> we should make another like Thanksgiving ish, Halloween ish cooking special. Like now that we feel like, better in front of the camera. Like how to cook human brains. Not mine. Don't cook my brains. Yours is small. That'd be terrible. What? <laughs> it's messed up. To put on a coat. Yeah, I had one on and then I was hot. Now I'm cold. We are still really excited from attending the Homesteaders of America convention and meeting all kinds of awesome people. Oh man, did we meet awesome people. It was so much fun. It was like summer camp for homesteaders. How about meeting Don? Yeah. That was cool. We completely forgot about Don when he, uh, we made our other video, but hey Don. Thanks for saying hi to us. That was a pretty cool dude, and uh, we got to talk to him about his story and talk to him about ours. It was it was cool, man. That was yeah. a good time. It was a good time. If you uh, missed our video, then you know check it out. Maybe you saw that video, but you missed Courtney's first try at fermenting. That was pretty good. My ferments are ready. We could go try one. Oh no, we can't. You can. I'm not. Not yet. I'm not ready for that. It's not happening. No. Whatever. No. Despite the fact that I'm not gonna eat any of that right now, or even later, Courtney did a pretty stinking good job, I think. A lot of people asked what she used and how she did it. We didn't really include a lot of that simply because she doesn't know what she's doing. I will make a follow-up video when I taste all that stuff and tell you what I did and if it turned out. Yeah. Go stuff. That's my cog hill dance. Cocktail dance. You know what I'm gonna do? Hmm. You know, with all the situation we got going on, mm -hmm. it's gonna be, can't nobody hold me down. Oh, oh no. no, I got, got to keep, keep on moving. moving. For real though, we gotta keep on moving. We do have to keep on moving. You are absolutely correct. Well folks, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a like, comment. Subscribe, we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Yes, and I promised you folks that if we hit 2,000, we would give away some stuff. So stay tuned for details on that. Also, we are gonna be putting out some fun stuff about our chickens and fun stuff about our goats where you can learn maybe everything that we've learned, but also what not to do. I was gonna say, and also correct us on the things we screw up. But that's what's great about Life on Beagle Road because you can learn what to do and you can learn what not to do. No. You gotta put, stop sucking your teeth. Such a teeth sucker. You're a teeth sucker.